I thought, you know, my first thing is I want to talk about is, um, you know, St. Ambrose and the way that they came out and competed. Um, it's really impressive what that uh, coaching staff and that team did over these last uh, 10, 11 days. And losing a teammate, um, couldn't imagine. Um, I'm sure there was emotions all over the board. They played with, I'm sure, a heavy heart, um, played extremely hard. Um, I'm sure they had several days off. Um, so I want to give them uh, uh, thoughts and prayers, most importantly, genuinely. And I also want to, you know, just give them credit for the, the competition because they, they had us um, in bad rotation several times today. Um, so they're a very well-coached team. They're going to be a very good team. Um, and I just want to, you know, uh, uh, put that out there to start. Um, overall game, uh, kind of relating to that is I thought that, you know, we got a little extended a little bit defensively at times got hugged up on the weak side at times, and um, let them get to the basket a little too much. Now, we did a good job in the first half of converting some transition baskets, moving the ball relatively well at times. I still, I still would like to see more assists in a, in a game like that. Limited it uh, to nine turnovers as well. Um, responded accordingly, uh, coming out of halftime, uh, that first media timeout, and, and kind of took off from there. So. It was a good effort by our guys, and to get the fifth game in a row to end November was was a good a good accomplishment for us. Are you happy with uh, the, your defensive effort? I mean, you get a lot of steals and all that hold them down, but, but did you like your defensive effort? At times, you know, I, I thought at times we were um, we showed what we were capable of doing. I thought like when we when it got kind of nasty at times, we we relied upon our defense to kind of turn it, you know, in, in little segments here and there. And, um, and then other times I thought today we, we didn't do as good of a job as had we, had we have been doing in terms of um, just being in the gap better. And we got straight line drive dri driven a little bit too much. Um, so at times I liked our defense and, and, and uh, it was good enough, uh, obviously in the second half, holding them to 24 points. I'm not sure what they shot in the second half um, uh, field goal percentage. Um, but, but, but that was one thing that I was a little concerned in the first half. I thought they were sh shooting around 42%. So we made that adjustment at halftime and they did a good job. You guys were making all those threes in the first half. <laughs> did you come out thinking we want to shoot threes? It seemed like you guys were looking three or... Uh, these two might have been, or he might have been. I'm, actually, I'm sure he was. Well, he, came, he came out and hit a couple right away. So, yeah, I'm sure he came out thinking he's going to hit some threes early. You know, no. It was, uh, you know, we talked about getting – getting the ball reversed, getting in the paint, hitting step in threes and being aggressive. Um, we do have an aggressive team. We have a, guy, a bunch of guys that are capable of knocking down shots, uh, putting some points on the board. Uh, and that's that fine line. Because like you're wired to go get a bucket, certain guys are. Um, but I think we can start really turning those into great buckets. So it wasn't something that we had thought about. I did think we took some pretty good threes in the first half though. So I wasn't overly concerned about that. A game like this, what do you hope to gain? I mean, obviously you want to win the game. But is it, is it more to get a lot of guys some extra time, you know, different players, mm -hmm. extra time? Uh, you just want to, you want to see what you're, uh, you know, what you're about. I think that's a, your approach is something that I talked about with these guys. You know, that's what you want to, in really every game, not just this game, but every game, you know, how do we approach every situation? Whether you're uh, favored or not favored, whether it was, in, you know, whether it's Duke or St. Ambrose, what, you know, I, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see what our approach was. I wanted to see, you know, um, because you have that approach every single day in practice. We have, you, you know, the public sees, the, sees us 31 times. Um, that's, you know, the, and those are like kind of your tests, right? But you have to study every single day, all right? And we have to have an approach that creates those study habits the right way. So today I was really looking for our approach and how we uh, played off each other. And, and we did enough today for sure. And you guys had a size advantage, but, but you in particular really took advantage of it. You, you showed some muscle inside. Uh, yeah, I was just reading what the defense got, got me. My teammates found me when I was open, so uh, just credit to them. Got some offensive rebounds too, just, just staying in the flow of the game, not forcing anything. And then early on, you're hitting those threes. Are you thinking, here I go 24 more? I mean, were you thinking like that? Well, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God for just giving me the opportunity to be out there. But um, to be honest, when I play the game, I just uh, shoot what comes to me. And my teammates were finding me open, and I'm appreciative of that, and I was able to knock down the shots. You guys, you talked about, like, Brian, 
maybe not as many assists as you like, but there were some really outstanding passes, and, mm -hmm. and, and maybe they got converted or didn't. But, but I thought you guys did move the ball. Well, that's, I'm glad you said that. You know, it, it, and we have a few guys that come in there like, you know, I really have seven assists. If Terrence would have not dropped the pass or L.A. would have knocked it down. And we're actually starting to chart, like, you know, what it could have, should have assists. Because you do want to see if the, that is something that you, um, you still got to give credit to uh, you, you, in terms of, all right, are we moving it? We just missed the shot that we should make. Or did, it, did we get what we want out of it? So I did think the ball moved relatively well. I think, what do we have? 14 assists. And then when you're getting to the line 22 times, that's, or how many times? 29 times. So we got to the line 29 times. I didn't like our free throw percentage today. But sometimes those assists aren't assists because you're getting fouled on a drop off or something like that. So I do factor those in. And I, it is nice to see the ball move a little bit more, too, for sure. And Terrence, a, a guy like uh, Kobe got extra minutes mm -hmm. tonight. What did you see out of him? What do you expect from him? Because I thought he really stood out at times. Um, I expect Kobe to go out there, play his game, be aggressive. You know, he's an energy guy for us. He brings a lot of energy in practice. So I just expect him to play his game, be himself, and go out there and have fun. He's a good basketball player. I'm just taking over the whole press conference. But um, this is the first time I've seen you guys play in a game. Uh, so DeMarco seems to be able to calm everything down, just kind of get the team. Is, 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 he, is, is that, he the calming is that, sense? Is that accurate? <laughs> uh, not, you, not usually, but uh, he is a good point guard and he is a good leader on the team. He's able to talk to us and uh, let us know where we need to be at on the court. He's a, actually a good energy man. He mm -hmm. brings a lot of energy to the team. You know, it, it's, it's a great observation, though, today, because, and, and we joke because he's, he's fiery and, he's got, and, and we're not going to turn that off, and I, nor do I want to. Um, but I do think today he was definitely a calming influence at times. He was really trying to, to, to establish kind of like, hey, how this ball needs to happen, how, the, how things have to move. Defensively, I thought he was pretty solid. So today there's no doubt. And he's getting better and better and growing every single day. So he had a heck of a day, and it was his birthday today. So maybe he grew up a little bit today. So uh, I noticed Ray's got no brace or anything like that. Is he 100 percent? Is he close to 100 percent, like physically? Yeah, I mean, we would. He wouldn't be out there if if he's not 100 percent cleared. Um, there's no doubt about that. You know, it, to be honest with you, probably at Fort Wayne, it got to the point where I I was more concerned about it than than Ray and his and his family. Um, and you know, I you know, I pull him out at times. Um, I asked probably to the point where it was getting annoying. How you feeling and things like that. I just think he has a great bright future. You don't want to put uh, some short term successes over our long term goals um, for this team and for him individually. Um, but that being said, yeah, he he's worked and put himself in position where he can say, hey, look at the numbers. Here's what the doctor is saying. So it's up. You know, you're either just not playing me or I'm playing, and, and that's where he's he's been. I tried to be smart about his minutes during practice and things at times as well, and um, and it's just a ever going process. But no, he's he's out there ready to roll. Terrence, these kind of games don't come along all the time when when at the end of the game you get to be on the bench rooting for the other guys to get their their bucket. That's got to be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, when I was out, I was on the I was on the end of the bench cheering for my guys. So it's always fun seeing every, everyone succeed on the team. I'm I'm always happy to see my my guys succeed on, on the team. So it, it's pretty fun seeing those guys who don't usually get in the game succeed at the end of the game. So it, it, it's fun. When you get those situations, Brian, you call plays for certain guys to try to make sure they get at least a chance. Yeah, yeah. For Arnie, we did right away. Uh, you know, and think about Arnie is like he's laughing now. He's he, you know, Arnie's sometimes kicks him around a little bit in practice. That, that young man's going to be really good, yeah. really good. Like, I'm a big believer in Arnie. And, and it's a credit to our depth right now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he sees it every single day in practice. These guys see it every single day in practice, what he, how he impacts practice. Like, you know, there's the, he, he got in early at Fort Wayne because he's, he's earned opportunity, no doubt about that. Kwani, um, yeah, I mean, he went, I was telling him to shoot today. I was telling him to shoot. Because, he, again, he has such an unbelievable attitude. He's a very good player. As, as well, I'm a believer in Kwani Rudd as well, um, and you know, as he continues to get strength and be developed, he shows up every single day and he works it. And so you, you want to reward those guys. And yeah, you, you know, as a coach, it's like do what we're supposed to do. Let's keep on doing that. But the reality of it is, I was yeah, I was on the sideline saying, hey, just let this one loose. And were you working on that three quarter length press because that's what you do, or because you want to work on it for the future? 
It really, uh, no, a little bit of both. We, we've, um, it's been a, a weapon for us. Uh, you know, these last few games, I think that it's, it's turned the tides a few times. Um, when, it, when it's clicking, when we're all on the same, uh, on the same page, it's, it's been very good for us, yeah. And, and when did you come up with the new hairdo? That's what I'm oh, the new hairdo? Yeah. Uh, I just came up, I guess, this, uh, this, uh, this summer. I decided to do something new. I've been seeing the pictures. I thought I couldn't wait to see it up close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's every day with these guys. <laughs> I'm good. Anybody else? I was going to ask, obviously, four big road wins on the road. Now mm -hmm. you're back home. You pick up your fifth and second win tonight. Now you have a few days to prepare for the weekend. How do you prepare a Troy team coming in that's beat a power five opponent? How do you prepare these next few days? Uh, hey, you know, just how we have been. Um, you know, we have a little bit, a little bit more time. I guess we had some time. We gave them two days off after, um, after the Longwood tournament. And then we, we kind of did a three-day prep for UMKC. Uh, so we're, it's a little similar. We're going to do some things a little bit tomorrow. Uh, we'll be smart about our bodies. Um, but, you know, the good thing about this group of guys right now, they're, they're like, I said something like, hey, we have a very good Troy team coming in. And they all knew. You know, they had already all seen it. They had watched the game, you know, last night. Um, there's a hunger and a desire to, to, to learn about, okay, how are we going to go beat these guys? What's the game plan? All right, and then let, you know, let's trust our ability. So um, I, I look forward to them being eager. All right, I know I will be. Um, but that's kind of our approach these next three days. You have a little bit of a stretch here that isn't easy. I mean, Troy and uh -huh. Bradley. It, it, so it, it gets serious. Of course, along with serious too. I mean, you can play some tough people. You know, you, you build your schedule in a way that challenges your team. And, and you try to simulate a, a variety of things. And, you know, you have an afternoon game after a, a very long trip uh, to Fort Wayne. Well, that's going to simulate when we go to Arkansas Little Rock uh, down the line. We play here on Thursday on uh, Tennessee Martin. We have to get on the uh, – it goes six hours down to Arkansas Little Rock and play probably an afternoon game. I don't know if, what time it will be. I know it will be at least afternoon uh, because of the OVC rules with that. Um, you want to simulate potential uh, three days in, in, in the OVC tournament. Um, so you put yourself in an MTE uh, uh, situation like that. Uh, you want to simulate um, uh, different, uh, you know, uh, you, you're on the road for four straight games. Uh, we were on the road for more, but we are on the road for four straight games where there's going to be a stretch potentially where we need to win three road games in a row. So you do kind of, you know, and then you want to challenge you with quality, yourself with quality opponents. Um, so there, there's a kind of a method to the madness at times. Um, and then sometimes things are given to you that you just kind of absorb and you just got to roll with. So these guys have done that uh, thus far. I jumped into 